Right, uh, we are here today in, uh, with uh, energy awareness and uh, what we're doing is we're uh, going to give you a quick uh, run through and we have um, a solid fuel bio stove which is 12 kilowatts uh, going into um, an open system uh, and we have a sealed system on this side and they're all married together. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to go through the, the setup of the wires of um, the energy, the energy leak. We have the flow pipe here off the stove and it's 52 degrees. And if we come over here, uh, we can see the return temperature is 43 degrees. And if we pan back a bit, you can actually see that we have a gravity circuit coming back. So we have our flow pipe coming up here, through the energy link, up, over, down into our coil, back out of our coil, back down through here, through the stove, no restriction. As you can see here, the temperature is rising and at some point here now we're going to get a kick. Uh, the pumps are going to turn on and it will transfer from one side, open side, over onto a, a sealed side. It will be delivered over here, over onto the energy zone and distributed out through the heating system by a matter of pumps. Okay. Okay, so we're going, to cha uh, we're going to take off the cover of the energy link to give you a look of what's inside. We have a pump which pumps across uh, through a plate exchanger which is the seal side over here and delivers over onto the seal system. Whether it will be uh, an energy zone that is delivering to or out straight out to a system, uh, it's irrelevant. That's basically out into a seal system. On this side over here then we have a, a pump uh, that injects across the plate exchanger which you can see in the back. As you can see we have two energy rated pumps. Um, we have a pipe stat which is back here and the wiring for the pumps and the pipe stat is all located inside here. As you can see here, this uh, setup here that we have is for uh, R&D purposes and there's, um, there's a lot of information being gathered here as in temperature ways and different scenarios when a relay is a trick or have you. This is not really for um, a domestic uh, application, uh, but again it's just for R&D. No. Now, as you can see on the bottom there lads, uh, the stove uh, temperature is at 54. Uh, the trigger on this is about 56 or 56 six degrees. Uh, the two pumps are going to come on. There we go. Okay, as you can see here now, the pump, uh, the two pumps are on uh, across the plate, and we are delivering up uh, onto our energy zone. One there, and this zone uh, is on. This one here is on, and you can see. Temperatures across our energy zone. And we have it's a sealed system on this side. As you can see, we're set for one and a half bar. Okay, and this is our open system. We have an expansion going over, we have a cord feed coming down. The cord feed comes down here, back around to here, uh, try and stop the, the heat going back up into the tank to heat the tank. 
So, as you can see here, we've loaded up the fire and uh, it's really uh, it's really trying out a bit of heat now. And as you can see here, uh, we have a temperature of uh, 68 degrees on the flow and the gravity and going over to the to the return, which is kind of hovering around there, 54, 55 degrees. And we're getting 56 degrees uh, across and 51 degrees on the return coming back. Uh, the pumps haven't turned off yet uh, because the temperature hasn't dropped. Right, so just a, a brief uh, overcap here that uh, we have an open system and a seal system. So an open system which is uh, primarily feeding into the solid fuel boiler. Uh, we have a gas boiler and a heat pump which are sealed. Okay, and we have an energy zone which distributes the heat out to the heating in the building. Okay, and what we have here then is we have an energy leak which has a primary pump and a secondary pump. The secondary pump is connected to the to the seal system and the primary pump um, uh, takes, the, puts, takes the injection across from this plant through the plate and across onto the seal system. So as you can see, um, the, the stove is uh, gathering momentum now, on kind of roughly around kind of 60, 65 degrees. And uh, heat is being pushed out, it's being pulled across here into your, into your, uh, from your open system onto your seal system and delivered out to whatever zones are calling. Uh, the zones that we have calling here are the downstairs circuit. Okay, so we're going to go, we're going to go through the energy leak now and uh, what's actually involved in the, the unit. So what we have here is we actually have a two inch and a quarter um, fl flow and return. And so if we follow the, follow the flow, it comes off the stove, we have a, a T here, which uh, when the pump comes on, goes down here, pumps along through and into the bottom of the plate, which is here. Comes out here, across here, and it goes into an injector T, which fires down here and back to the stove. So when this pump comes on, goes through the plate, up through the plate, out through here, into a um, injector tea and fires it back onto the stove. So that's one complete circuit. Okay. So moving on to this fella. So we have a, a secondary a secondary pump which uh, pulls the return, which is this one, up here, and pumps in through here and back out and it's the flow here. So what we have is uh, we have the, the, the cold water return going through here and the hot water coming out through here and being delivered up through here. So we have uh, the plate is stripping in the most efficient way I can. Okay, we're going to go through the energy zone here now and uh, the connections and what uh, the possibilities that we have here. So what we have here is that uh, we have a flow pipe which is coming uh, from the, the stove uh, which is going across the energy link, as I explained before, uh, gets delivered into this top chamber here. Okay, and we have the return, which is connected uh, to the to the return back here, which goes back to the stove. Okay, so we're going to look at the, the temperatures of the energy zone. We have three chambers here. This is the flow chamber, which obviously is this is the uh, uh, hot return temperature or bypass chamber. And we have here, which is the low temperature return by a chamber. So if we have a quick look here, what we have here, we have a 61 degrees on the top chamber, 54 on the middle chamber, and 42 on the bottom chamber. So on the top chamber being 62, this is what being delivered from the, the stove as we speak. Uh, the return, the hot return temperature, which has been returned to the stove as we speak, is 54. Okay, and at the bottom here, uh, we have a return temperature of 33. And so, if we go up here and have a look here, you can see the stove is still at 56. Return temperature is 56. Uh, what we have here is uh, the inside of an uh, energy zone. Uh, as you can see here, we have the floor, floor chamber, bypass chamber, and cold return chamber. Okay, so as from which you saw in the video, uh, our stove is connected uh, to this side. So basically, we've been coming across here and coming out here, and these are our flows going out to, to zones. So whatever zone is calling, out they go.
Okay, so uh, and we have a com any any wa any waters that are not uh, used going out through the zones will be returned back out through here, uh, which is giving the higher return temperature. Okay, so if uh, if we had a zone calling, uh, we'd have the returns coming back here. But so also we'd have any waters that has not been used, um, it'll come back out through here, and any any return water coming up through here that'll come back out through here. So this is what's given us our higher return temperature. Uh, on this side here then, um, we, if we were connecting a condensing boiler, we will go to this, zone, this connection and also this connection. So what will happen is, uh, the boiler will deliver uh, in here as needed, it will go to the zones as required, any waters that are not uh, used comes back down around through this way, has to go through the deflector plates along here, but any of the cold water coming back, uh, the return, is, is the first one that goes back to the boiler, so the coldest water is always going back to the boiler on this connection down here, but also works with that connection too, but generally this connection uh, as well, so you get the coldest water coming back, which gives uh, the boiler its most efficiency. Right, so what we have here is um, uh, the flow connection, which is up here, whether it's either coming from this way or coming from this way, any air, so for deaeration, uh, any air that gets caught here, comes over here and gets hit by, and gets get directed by uh, a wave a wave plate, uh, which you can put an, uh, an automatic air vent here, or, um, or, or an expansion, or whatever the case may be, but uh, you can get rid of the air out through this one. Uh, over here is where we have, a, this can be used for a temperature uh, sensing gauge as well. Uh, or a flow. Okay, so uh, as as we just already said, uh, if a flow if a flow from a boiler is connected here or connected here, uh, they'll, uh, it'll 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 all um, hover around here, which will come back. Any water that has not been used obviously goes back down either, either through this return, that return, that return, or that return. Uh, but as the fact that the water has been passing here, maybe it's a it's a good opportunity to to put a cold feed here. Um, which in turn, if your um, if your stove is connected on here, will be a return, which will be this one. So it'll be direct uh, access to the return on the stove. Just now, we're just looking at uh, the domestic cylinder uh, thermostat, uh, which is set for sixty degrees. That has been reached uh, at this stage. Uh, so moving along here, we have uh, our primary. Um, uh, gravity is still at uh, 60 degrees and still um, and still delivering. Uh, the primary and the secondary uh, pumps are still running. They still haven't uh, they still haven't stopped. And as you can see, we put um, we put a reasonably small um, fire down, uh, but we're still uh, we're still achieving um, uh, heat transfer across the, the plate. Uh, going up to the floor pipe. Uh, being delivered into the heating system, we're at 56 uh, coming in, and then the, and then the return we're on 51. Okay, so we're still actually delivering uh, out to the heating system. Uh, uh, just in case you're curious, um, uh, these two motorized valves and pumps uh, have a, have a, uh, absolutely nothing to do uh, with this system at the moment. As part of an R and D that we're trying. Uh, down here at the moment. Okay, so uh, we've turned on the gas boiler down all as well. Uh, the fire is starting to die down a little bit, and as we uh, come down here and have a look at uh, our energy zone, uh, we can see we're hitting nearly 60 degrees on top. Uh, we're 62, uh, sorry, we're 42, 46, sorry, on the bypass chamber, and on the return te temperature chamber, we're at uh, 31, 34, sorry, uh, which is uh, quite good. And so we're, we're well within our condensing uh, mode. So we're uh, an hour and a half into uh, into the system here, lads, and we've uh, put a little bit more uh, fuel on the stove again. And as you can see, it's starting on the, on the bottom temperature there. Uh, the return temperature on the stove is starting to climb again. Uh, the trigger on this, lads, is uh, roughly about 55, 50, 56 degrees. It'll trigger. Uh, see the fire. The fire has only been loaded with a uh, few now again, lads, and the static to light up again. So uh, we should see the the primary and secondary uh, pump uh, engaging again. Uh, what will happen here then as well, lads, is because we have the gas boiler on. Uh, if the stove is warm enough, it'll actually uh, turn off the, the gas boiler and leave the stove on on, uh, on its own the vent. Right. So uh, as you can see here, the stove is at uh, 54 here and climbing. Okay and our gas boiler is on. 
gas boilers on there now and it's delivering uh, into the energy zone. As you can see the difference in temperatures now with the gas boiler on, uh, we're at 55 and rising, 46 and we're at 39 on the bottom which is the return, where, so we're well under our condensing, uh, for our condensing conditions. Okay, so we're at 55 here now and soon as this hits uh, 56, uh, our pumps uh, will engage on our secondary primary. Uh, as you can see here our stove is at uh, 61 and climbing and if we go and have a look uh, we can see the primary and secondary pump have uh, engaged and we can see we're at 63, 53 and 42 Uh, as you can see, uh, we're at 60, 53 and 45, 44. Again, ideal temperatures for condensing. Our stove is running off and our primary and secondary pumps have engaged and it has stopped the gas boiler from operating because the stove is able to operate under its own steam. Okay, so that was a quick run through uh, on, the, on, on this system. As, as you can see, it's a, a, from an open to a sealed system, which was uh, up until recently uh, a kind of a non runner uh, in the plumbing industry. But uh, as we speak, going forward, uh, Borkan, uh, which is uh, which is which I'm part owner of, uh, which will be in a, a position uh, to offer uh, some uh, training modules on uh, various uh, various systems out there, being opened, um, sealed, and uh, uh, high pressure, high high temperature cylinders. Uh, and various uh, configurations out there. So hopefully, uh, going forward, uh, it will be of uh, some benefit uh, to all members.